Hey everyone, welcome back to Just Jen Baking. Today I am making a white chocolate custard, but not just any white chocolate custard, a caramelized white chocolate custard. So if you think you don't like white chocolate, you're gonna wanna think again and try it this way. Uh, if you'd like to know how to make the caramelized white chocolate, that's in a separate video. Today I'm just focusing on the custard itself. I've never actually made a custard, so this is gonna be a little bit of an experiment for all of us, so let's go ahead. To start, before we heat up our stovetop, we're going to add some sugar, some cornstarch. The cornstarch is our thickening agent. We want to make sure we add it now before we add our liquid so we don't get clumps of it in the final custard. And some salt. And we're going to whisk those together, again, before even turning on the stovetop. Once those are all whisked together, we're going to turn on the stovetop and then add some milk and some egg yolks while it's still heating up. So you don't want to wait until it's hot to actually add them. We just added our yolks and our milk to our mixture, so we are going to just stir while the stovetop begins heating up. This might take a good 10 to 15 minutes, so just be patient and keep whisking it. Once it starts to thicken and boil, or bubble, which we can see it has. You're going to take it off the heat. I'm going to add in some vanilla and our white chocolate. Again, this is caramelized white chocolate, so that's why it kind of looks like peanut butter instead of white chocolate. And as we're still whisking, we're going to add in our cold chunks of butter, just uh, one or two at a time as we're stirring. Once the butter and the chocolate is all nice and melted, we're gonna transfer this to a bowl and then cover with cling wrap, making sure that the plastic wrap touches the surface because we don't want a skin to form. And then we're gonna refrigerate for at least a few hours so it can thicken up. Okay, our custard has been in the fridge for about two or three hours. It's nice and thickened up, so I've added a nice little strawberry and some sprinkles. It's time to try it. Oh, 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 the like caramelized white chocolate kind of hits you after a second. Oh, that is delightfully smooth and it's not overpoweringly sweet. It's just a little bit. Oh, oh, I'm making this again. I mainly made it to put in a cake, but I'm pretty glad I had extra that I can have a little bowl myself because this is really good. Mm. Oh, I'm never buying a store-bought pudding ever again. Mm. Oh my god, that's so good. 